Hey guys, welcome back to Robu. Hope you guys are staying safe in your houses. And today in this video, we're gonna talk about what are the differences between motor drivers, specifically L293D and L298N. And before starting the video, quick announcement: we are rescheduling our upload schedule. Uh, we are uh, posting every Tuesday and Wednesday on our YouTube channel, and every Thursday or Friday we'll be posting on our Instagram page. So if you haven't followed our Instagram account, you can follow it. The handle is right here. And uh, we're gonna make videos on like new releases or like few short videos and everything of that sort for Instagram content. You can go follow it. We're gonna make it very informative and very fun. Uh, so yeah, go follow it if you haven't already. And let's get back to this video. First of all, the question is why do we need these motor drivers? Well, normally DC motors require current of about 250 milliampers, and ICs like Atmega 16, 32, or even 80500 do not produce these type of currents. And if you connect these motors directly to the ICs, the ICs are going to get damaged. Now, to run the motor at high speeds, we require a motor driver. We also cannot connect the motor driver directly to the microcontroller because the microcontroller produces voltages about highs of 5 volts and lows of 0 volts, and these voltages are insufficient for the motor to run. So that is why we need a motor driver so that none of the components are damaged and the motors are running at full potential. The most commonly used motor driver ICs are from the series of L293 and L298, like the ones that we're going to talk about today that are L293D and L298N. These ICs are designed to control two DC motors simultaneously and they both consist of H bridge. Now H bridge is like the simplest circuit to control low current rated motors. Now let's dive into what the differences are between these two motor drivers and which one should you pick for the use and application that you require. The basic differences between an L293D and an L298N motor driver is that an L293D driver operates between 4.5 and 36 volts, whereas an L298N driver can operate up to 46 volts. A maximum of 600 milliampere current can be drawn through both channels of an L293D driver, whereas an L298N driver can draw up to 2 amperes from both channels. L293 is a quadruple motor driver which uses half edge drivers, while the L298 uses dual full edge drivers. The AMF are provided in turn internally in L293D but must be provided externally in an L298. The L293D is suitable for small current drawing motors like BO motor or DC gear motors up to 500 rpm and small stepper motors which take less than up to 600 milliampere at their highest torque rating. Whereas the L298N has the advantage of higher output current up to 2 ampere and therefore it is suitable for high torque and high RPM motors like Johnson motors and high torque DC geared motors. So those were the differences between these two motor drivers and if you're wondering what an edge bridge is, edge bridge is basically a circuit which enables the voltage to be applied across the load in both the directions. It basically allows the circuit full command over a standard electric DC motor with an edge bridge like a microcontroller, a logic chip or even a remote control can command the motor to go forward, backwards, brake or even coast. Edge bridges are available as integrated circuits but also can be built using discrete components. These are two examples of what an edge bridge looks like. If you want to know more about edge bridges like in detail, you can go check out our blog. The link is down in the description. You can check it out. And that's it. Those are the differences between these two motor drivers and why we use them. If you like this content, give it a like and share it with your friends. And also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram. We're going to come up with a lot more Instagram content as well. Also, subscribe if you're new here. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.